In this video, we will use a macro to save us time by automating data entry. In order to save time and decrease data entry mistakes, you might consider using a macro that sets the value of one field based off the value in another. In the following example, typing Seattle into the city field will automatically populate state province to WA for Washington, the country region field to USA, and move the cursor to the zip postal code field. Because all of these actions are going to happen based off of an event in the city field, we need to attach the macro to an event for that field. So let's talk about some of the event properties that we can attach to the city field to execute our macro. First, there's on enter. With on enter, the macro is executed when the cursor arrives on the control. There's before update, where the macro is executed before the control's data is updated. There's after update, where the macro is executed after the modified control data is updated. And there's on exit, where the macro is executed when leaving the control. We are going to be using the on exit event for this exercise. There are also two macro actions that we're going to be using for this exercise. Set value and go to control. With set value, this action automatically enters a value into a field. And we're going to be using that to enter the state and the country. We'll be using go to control to move the cursor or insertion point to a specified field. In this case, it's going to be the zip code slash postal field. So let's begin. First, I'll go ahead and close the form and open it up in design view. Again, when a user types Seattle into the city field, the macro will then automatically populate the state province field with Washington, WA, the country region field with USA, and move the cursor to the zip postal code field. So let's start by selecting the city field in the design view of our form. I'll scroll down and select city. Next, we want to use the property sheet panel. So just make sure that it's open. Mine's open here on the right hand side, but if yours is not, go to the form design tools tab of the ribbon, click the design tab, and then click property sheet. On the event tab of the property sheet, we want to go down to the second from the bottom on exit and click the build button. That's the little dot 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 to the side. Clicking on the Build button opens up our Choose Builder window. And we're going to create or build our macro in the Macro Builder window. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. And that opens up the Macro Builder window. OK. First, we need to create an if statement. Remember, we're checking to see if the city equals Seattle. So from the Add New Action dropdown, you can either type in or select if. In the conditional expression field, we want to type in city equals Seattle. Now, since city is a field inside of our form, I want to start with an open square bracket and type in city. Now I see it's highlighted there in the little drop down list. And while it's highlighted, I can go ahead and hit the tab key on my keyboard. And access not only enters it in, but it also closes the square bracket for me. So if city equals, and then inside of quotes, Seattle, I'm going to close my double quotes there. Well, what do we want to have happen? We want the state field to be populated with WA for Washington. So we need to select the set value property from the add new action dropdown. Now, if you click on the add new action dropdown and scroll through or start to type, and don't see set value, don't worry. All you need to do here is click on the Show All Actions button in the ribbon. Once you do that, you'll definitely be able to find set value. OK, so there we are. We have set value. Well, what do we want to set? We want to set the state province field to WA. So my item here will be state slash province. And again, when I start to type it in, Access knows which field I'm talking about. So I'll go ahead and hit Tab. And the expression, what I want to set it to, will be WA for Washington inside of quotes. And we also want to set the country region field to read USA. 
So from the Add New Action dropdown one more time, we'll select or type in Set Value. The item here will be the Country Region field. And we want to set it to Read USA. Perfect. Next, we want the cursor to move to the Zip Postal Code field. So, from the Add New Action drop-down, we're either going to select or type in Go to Control. And the control name here will be Zip slash Postal Code. That's it. Let's make sure we save our work by clicking the Save button in the ribbon and then clicking on Close. And that takes us back to our form in Design View. Let's switch over to Form View. And in a new record, in the City field, type in Seattle and hit Tab. And there it is. Typing in Seattle populated the State Province field with Washington, the Country Region field with USA, and now our cursor or insertion point is ready for us in the Zip Postal Code field.